In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus MgOH2. We have hydrobromic acid and we have magnesium hydroxide. First thing we do need to do is balance the molecular equation. There are two bromine atoms here and only one here. Let's put a two in front of the HBr. It looks like I need to put a two here. If I do that, I'll have two oxygens and two hydrogens plus two hydrogens. So four hydrogens here, two times two, four. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. This chart here is a good one to memorize. It's the common strong acids and bases. So if we're looking down strong acids, HBr right here, that's a strong acid. So it's going to dissociate into its ions. We're going to write AQ. It's a strong electrolyte. If we look at our bases, the hydroxides, magnesium hydroxide is not considered a strong base. Because of that, we're going to write solid. It's not going to dissociate into its ions when we put it in water. Bromides, very soluble. AQ, that'll dissociate. And water's a liquid. Put an L. So we have the states for each of the substances. Next, we're going to break the strong electrolytes into their ions. So HBr, that's a strong electrolyte. Hydrogen in group 1, 1 plus. The bromide ion has a minus. So two hydrogen ions, H plus. I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now plus two bromide ions, two Br minus. We said that magnesium hydroxide is a solid. We don't split solids apart, so it's just MgOH2. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the product side, magnesium's in group two, that's two plus. We said the bromide ion is negative. So I have Mg2 plus, plus this two means I have two bromide ions. And then we don't split water apart either. We don't split liquids apart to H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They don't change, so we're not interested in them. As I look at the reactants and the products, the only thing that's the same, these two bromide ions. So I'm going to cross those out. Everything else, though, that makes up our net ionic equation. So let me clean this up. I'll write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for HBr plus MgOH2. And this is the net ionic equation for HBr plus MgOH2. You'll notice that we have two positive charges in the reactants, and then two positive charges here in the products. So charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides, so mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.